Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where income is the outcome. This is the platform. My name is Lerato. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I love it. So today's video, as you can see from the title below, is about how to become a mystery shopper. So this is a side hustle that I did a couple of years ago and I actually made a bit of money. So there were two apps that I was using for my mystery shopping career and I'm going to share those with you and also how you can join and the best part is how much you make from mystery shopping. Stay tuned. Is, so what is mystery shopping? So mystery shopping is a technique that is commonly used by retailers, market researchers, and consumer watchdogs to measure the level of customer service and interaction in their stores. So you gather information about service delivery and the treatment and the products and the look and the feel, everything about the store, basically you're a spy okay you're a secret agent pretending to not be spying but you're literally spying okay so this is a cool job <laughs> this is something you'd enjoy if you are into shopping if you're always at the shops if you live close to a mall especially um and if you know a lot about customer service you know how they always say the customer's always right yes this is your opportunity to literally check everything that goes on in a store it really doesn't take much to become a mystery shopper it's a fun thing that you can do on the side or while you're busy at the mall um, or in a shopping complex and it really doesn't even take up more, much of your time some of these agencies provide free training as well so you'd get an idea or a feel of what to look for even the things that you've, you'd overlook as an ordinary shopper but as a mystery shopper you become more observant and you also need to have great um, photographic skills because you have to document your report before you send it to the agency. So I'm going to share my mystery shopping experience with you. I hope this will steer you into the right direction if you are looking into going into something like this and basically how much time and effort you would want to put in to the side hustle, okay? I, I wouldn't share anything that I haven't tried. So. I did mystery shopping through a company called Helion Research. It is a global company, so it's in different countries. And this was the most professional mystery shopping company that I worked for. Um, the campaigns were for Total, popular restaurants. They even have Mercedes and Apple. So they work with these big brands where you go in there to do mystery shopping for. So they will email you um, job specs um, if you are around that area, then you're able to go and perform that task and then you would submit a report with a picture that you were there in evidence um, and then they'll process your payment. But the downside of mystery shopping is that you have to use your own money. So you'd go in there and they'd say, please go and ask about a specific t-shirt or a product that's on the shelf and possibly buy it and then they'll reimburse you as part of um, the payment that will come through about two weeks later um, so if you really don't have money on hand this wouldn't be very good for you because you'd have to pay up front and then they'll reimburse you um, this was also the case with um, the petrol the petrol station mystery shopping um, jobs that I took um, we had to go into Shell and you go into the shop, you have to buy uh, products worth about 30, 50 rand. So it's not much. And then you produce a receipt and then that's what they use to reimburse you. But apart from that, you will check on the appearance of the cashier or the knowledge of the cashier or of the salesperson in the store. You'll check on the cleanliness. You will check if you were greeted. So uh, when you walk into the store, so these are basic, basic um, customer service um, etiquette 
that um, they'd want you to measure for them. Okay, so you basically give an outline of the customer satisfaction experience in the store. So in this part of the video, I'll be showing you how to join Helion Research. So you'll go through the verification process of verifying your, uh, your email address as well as your password um, on helionresearch.com. So yeah, two-step verification process. If you don't have an account, you will create an account. But because I have an existing account, I just log in. And as we can see, the landing page, so we'll and just give an overview, brief descriptions of, of the jobs. So right now there are 157 jobs near me, 36 are web and phone jobs, and then the rest are face-to-face -face jobs that you'd have to do. Okay, so just going to load on the jo job board so you can see, and you also need to um, look according to your location. And okay, for me, Porsche jobs come up first. Um... So these are, like I said um, earlier, that these are the sales mystery shopping jobs that they have. And you can earn up to, you earn 800 rand. Um, you have to ask 13 questions. And so they give you a questionnaire prior to your visit. And you also have to record your drive um, and everything that takes place at the dealership. And then you select your date as well. Um, so you, it's just confirmation on when you're, mo you're most available and you also give a brief note supporting your application, something along the lines of I'm interested in the brand or I'm a good driver or whatever motivation you would, you think would be most relevant and would, um, increase your, your chances of being selected for, um, this to make 800 rands to go and ask 13 questions. Come on, this is easy and quick money okay so they're back on the job board again and um more jobs came up and this is from shell and this is 50 rand and you will make from shell um going in i'm gonna just open one of the shell um, mystery shopping jobs so you need to have a fuel expense of 100 rand and also inside you need to spend 40 rand inside as well so you need to take a photo as you can see outside of the shell service station and then a photo of the receipt and the shop receipt. And you just um, check there. So you're required to spend a minimum of 100 Rand and 20 Rand in the shop. Okay, so you also need to confirm um, when you're most available to perform the job and also provide a brief note of the application. So this is basically the outline of um, how you would apply for these jobs because they also have a deadline, right? So they'll reimburse you up to 140. So you will spend 100 Rand or 50 Rand on the on the gas and they'll give you 140. So which means that you would make um, a quite a bit of profit because you need to spend your money first, right? Like I explained. So this is the most common thing, especially with fuel, with fuel um, jobs. Okay, right. So they acquired a they are a lot. So yeah, um, another part of um mystery shopping, uh, web and phone jobs. So you would do cold calling, um. So basically, after you do maybe the face to face, um, mystery shopping job, then you'd have to do a telephonic sales job, and that kind of thing. Um. So I can see that most of them are for Porsche as well. So obviously, if you are chosen for the face-to-face -face job, then the the chances are higher that you could be chosen also for the telephonic um sales review. Okay, so these are also web and phone jobs as well. So you don't always have to be out there when you're doing mystery shopping. I also just wanted to um show you one of my statements how it will come about for a job that I did for Shell. Um, back in 2018 um, yeah so I did it in um, August and they only paid in um, at the end of the month so yes they pay you only at the end of the month um, depending on how many jobs you did so there it is so I went to Rosebank to the shell there I spent um, uh, 48 rand in store and I poured and I poured gas 
of about, I think, 180, or they paid me 180. So in all, I made 230 rands at, um, at the Shell back in 2018. So it might be more. So that's why I'm encouraging, and I'm also going to go back, and I'm encouraging um, you to give it a try as well. So yeah, man. There it is. I did say I'm going to show my earnings. The other app that I used was called Secret Agent. And Secret Agent is literally a competition. So they literally place, I'll show you um, on the screen, they literally place, <laughs> uh, they literally place a job, right, within your area, about five to 10 Ks within your area. So you're not really spending much on transport. And on top of that, it's a race to who can get there first so that's very competitive um because if a job has been done then you have to wait for another time for jobs to appear that was the only negative thing that i experienced with the secret agent app and also they don't have a lot of jobs on the site but the the jobs that i did were for kfc so i had to go and buy the new zinger burger and sit there and eat it <laughs> and of course like i said um the same with helium research then you just um, send them a picture of your receipt and they ask you a few questions on your experience and that is what they use um to measure the the customer satisfaction rate in the store so in the next part of the video i'm just going to show you a few more companies that you can approach that are reputable in South Africa that you can use if you are and if you are free and if you live close to a shopping complex or a place with a lot of restaurants and also if you do have a driver's license and you want to do mystery shopping for for um, cars and um, car dealerships and that kind of thing and also if you have an Apple product as well so um, stay tuned so in this part of the video i'm going to show you guys how to download the secret agent app so you go into your app store android and ios supported and quickly just download it and then you'd have to turn on notifications so that you're notified um and they can just quickly communicate with you and send you notifications um so you download the app and then you register or i mean create an account or log in whatever the case may be right okay um once you're in the app you need to also allow for them to um check your your logins as well right so okay um so this is it so according to your location as well so you could just see there that the campaign that they have right now is with pick and pay, right? I'm just going to click in on it so that you can see. Um, this is uh, very close to where I am. Um, but it doesn't really deal with most of the pick and pays, right? So I just selected the job. Um, and then we're just going to read through the spec and see what they're looking for, okay? So for 130 Rand, I need to go into a pick and pay. I need to make a minimum purchase of 50 Rand from the bakery. Okay, um, the items can be from the bakery, fresh produce, the butchery section, and the reward is free to the value of 50 Rand plus the additional cash offered in the total reward. So basically, I'm going to be making 180 because they're going to give me back my 50 Rand. Okay. So the 130 is the profit that I'm making, okay? So then I also need to take photos using a live camera. The thing is with mystery shopping, you have to be there. It does, the apps don't allow you to take pictures. This app doesn't allow you to take pictures when you're not in there. It won't even allow you to access the job if you're not in the area. So you have to be close to the area first. Um, it will even send you a notification saying that you haven't arrived there, so you can't start the job. That's what I meant when I was saying it's so competitive because if other people have the app then and someone already selected the job and you're making your way to the job and they've already done it, um, chances are you've wasted your time, you know? So anyway, this is what happens when... Um, you've you've completed your tasks and you've submitted it ha has to go for approval and then that's only when they'll process your payment <laughs> <laughs>